Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'll be unboxing the LG Solo on Total Wireless. Let's get it started. Okay, so before we get started, uh, I mentioned in the past that the majority of my videos, unboxings, reviews are done from an iPhone. However, this video here is done from a different camera. So let me know in the comment section below how the quality is throughout the video and all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, this is an all new phone from LG called the LG Solo, available on Total Wireless and on Straight Talk. Let's go ahead up in the flap up here and look at some of the specs. There of course is the phone. And down here at the bottom shows some specs, 4G LTE, Android 8.1 Oreo, a 5.7 inch touchscreen display, battery talk time up to 12 hours, stand by up to eight days. It is Wi-Fi capable. It's only got 16 gigabytes of internal storage. This phone also has two gigabytes of RAM. This has Bluetooth 4.2, an eight megapixel camera with a five megapixel front facing camera. Also supports an SD card up to two terabytes and a 1.8 gigahertz octa core 450 snapdragon processor so let's go ahead and pull it out of the box okay so let's go ahead and pull the top off of this box here and we'll put the phone here to the side and see what and all does come in the box we got your total wireless terms and conditions of service guide there your lg solo manual Got a wall adapter here. I don't think it's any kind of fast charging on here at all. Just standard charge, I do believe. And surprisingly, a micro USB charging cable. So no type C on this device here. And your SIM removal tool right here. So let's go ahead, put it all back in the box, and we'll look at the phone. Okay, so the phone is now in hand and... Looking at it here, the phone reminds me a lot of the leaked photos of the LG Stylo 5. The way the camera looks back there, the fingerprint scanner and all set up. And just the overall design look at this phone reminds me a lot of the LG Stylo 5 by the pictures that I've seen. However, this has got a smaller display at 5.7 inches and I'm sure that the Stylo 5 will have a 6.2, something like that. And hopefully better specs than what this phone right here has got. But anyway, so look around the phone here on the back. You do have your camera and your flash with your fingerprint scanner, track phone logo, your LG branding down there at the bottom. On this side here, you got your power button on top. You got a secondary microphone on the left side here. We got your volume rockers that are spaced as well. It looks like a Google Assistant button maybe. You have your SIM and SD card slot right there. And on the bottom, of course, is your speaker, micro USB charging port microphone and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and on the front there's your receiver camera and a front facing flash let's go ahead and power this phone on all right you have your notification light up here up top so yeah let's go ahead and peel off this protector here and we'll go ahead and get it all set up and i'll come back when it's finished okay so the phone is set up now and ready to go let's go ahead and check out that fingerprint scanner and it works it's not the fastest in the world but yeah it works and of course here is just your typical home screen here a 720p display i do believe and you know right out the gate of course it runs decently quick here um running you know, lg skin like i said 1.8 gigahertz octa core processor which is a snapdragon 450 2 gigabytes of ram and 16 gigabytes of onboard storage running 8.1 oreo it's already kind of an outdated phone and this phone just released so yeah there you go there i'm not really sure what lg's doing with their phones and their budget phones this phone will cost you 129 dollars if you buy it at walmart i know that's what i paid for this one right here and i believe that best buy sells it for the same price uh, of course if you buy it on straight talk you can only buy it at walmart it'll probably be the same price as well however when i went to get mine it only had the total wireless version which is the carrier that i have anyway so it's all good let's go ahead and pull the drop down here it says phone safety do not remove the battery when your phone is unresponsive tap to check how to start the phone yeah and you got app scale in there tap to adjust the screen size of an app Pull it on down here. Got your Capture Plus, Wi-Fi, Sound, Bluetooth, Rotation, Data, Flashlight, Airplane Mode, Eco Playback, DTS X 3D Surround, Sync, and Hotspot. You also got Battery Saver Extended, 
location, comfort view, do not disturb, and data saver. So yeah, you can edit those as well. Let's go ahead and look at the settings here for a little bit. Go to your network and internet. Go ahead and press that there. It's your airplane mode, Wi-Fi, mobile data, advanced calling. So this is for your HD voice. Call, tethering, mobile networks. Now I get this a lot. A lot of comments, you know, they're like, you know, with straight talking to the wireless, can I use the hotspot feature on my phone? Yes, you can turn the hotspot feature on on your phone. However, you may get terminated if you do use the hotspot feature on your phone because they don't actually have plans for hotspot on Straight Talk or Total Wireless on their phone. So just letting y'all know that there. Got your VPN and your wireless emergency alerts there. Got your connected devices here for Bluetooth. Got your sharing panel. Show nearby devices and frequent contacts on the sharing panel. File sharing, media server, and printing. Got your sound display here. So your home screen, you can choose to have a home or a home and an app drawer is currently set on home and app drawers. I'll leave it there for now. Wallpaper, screen swipe effect, icon shape, Google feed. So you can turn that on or off, grid, and search and loop home screen. Brightness, auto brightness, rotate screen, screen timeout, menu view, all that kind of stuff there. You have your lock screen and security. So press that. You got select screen lock, customize lock screen, secure lock settings. You got fingerprints, and that's just about it on that. Extensions here is for your smart cleaning. You press that. It shows your internal storage is 6.68 gigabytes in use. You got 9.32 gigabytes free, and 2 gigabytes of RAM, and 0.90 is free. So, yeah. There you go there. You got gaming, shortcut keys, and knock on, knock off feature if you like that or don't. Down here at battery, go ahead and press that. You got battery saver, power saving exclusions, all that kind of stuff. Battery percentage on status bar and all that kind of good stuff. Now going down here to storage, like I said, internal storage 16 gigs, 9.32 free. You can add an SD card up to 2 terabyte if you so wish. Accessibility. All the settings here that you need, vision, hearing, motor and cognition, accessibility, feature shortcut. I mean, there's a bunch of features there. Accessibility, and down here at system, you do have your update center, language and input, date and time, memory. So looking at here at memory, it does show the two gigabytes of RAM, like I may mention earlier. And uh, look down here at about phone. We are running Android 8.1 Oreo, you know, so yeah, there you go. Um, but so far, I mean, the, the phone does feel, you know, reasonably snappy here. You know, there's nothing on the phone right now, of course. Um, I will test it out, put some apps on it, all that kind of good stuff, test it out. Let's go ahead and pull up the camera here on the phone and see what we have going on in here. Tag locations later. Got the AI cam there. Up top here's your settings, your mode. That gives your automatic mode, food, and flash jump cut. Up here, of course, is just some, you know, urban vivid violet vintage just some different effects you can use front facing camera button and your flash button up there let's go ahead and go into the settings and see what we have going on in here there's hdr mode cheese shutter tag locations and down here says full vision eight megapixel camera as you can see right there you can record in full hd 1080 or 720p and your self timer let's go ahead and back out of here flip around to the front facing camera and we'll see what we got going on here got portrait mode at your ai cam beauty mode smile and your different filters there again as well mode here so auto and flash jump cut going to the settings here selfie shot save this flipped all that kind of stuff there five megapixel camera and it'll record here in full hd or 720p so that's just a brief look there at the camera. 8 megapixel in the rear, 5 in the front. We'll have to just see how that camera looks and does. Got the AI cam there. You turn on or off. So, yeah. We'll test all that stuff out later on. The side button here, like I said, I think is the Google Assistant button. And, yes, it is. Hope you can remap that uh, to change it to whatever. But the design, I mean, it looks like a typical LG design, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, they all seem to look basically alike and... Like I may mention, it reminds me a lot of the Stylo 5 pictures that I've seen online. But, uh, yeah, only time will tell how that works out. So, yeah, this is just my unboxing and first look here of the LG Solo on Total Wireless. If this was helpful and informative in any way, hit that like button. Any questions that you may have, leave it down below. And subscribe if you haven't. I would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and thanks for watching.